Good morning. This is so cool. I just put on a new lens on my camera. It's a nice big wide angle and it was so cheap. Shout out to Michaela Anissa for this one because this is the one that she has. And I went onto her Amazon storefront and I got it. I can fit so much in the frame. This is an impromptu vlog. I wasn't planning on vlogging today, but my computer died this weekend. She, she's really been struggling. It was just time to upgrade. So I did buy a new computer this weekend and right now it's transferring all my data and it said it's gonna take three more hours. And then Jenny texted me out of the blue this morning was like, I know you're working. What are the chances you wanna come to coffee and indigo with me? Oh, well that's effing perfect. I have three hours to kill and I felt like bringing you guys so we're gonna go to indigo today i think i'm gonna finally put up my bookshelf that's been sitting back there on the floor i don't know just come come along with me for the day my current obsession music wise is bryce savage okay this album book talk the album do i even need to explain this is all i've been listening to for weeks on end on repeat like the bass imagine hearing this in a club and the lyrics There's one that's actually about me. <laughs> this one's called My Type. She's five, five with a this one's also called Long Hair and Some Tattoos. This is my music genre. I don't have a favorite type of music. I go off mood, whatever mood I'm in. And recently it's been spicy. I can't even explain it. Spicy Machine Gun Kelly is how I would explain Bryce Savage. Oh, look at it. Snowing. I got a new lens on my camera. It's like a wide so angle. Apple, why are you like this? When I left to go meet Jenny, my computer had two or three hours left of transferring data, right? I come back and it says six hours remaining. I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay, maybe it's wrong. Then I, I walk away, I make a meal, I come back and now I'm looking at it, it says seven hours and 56 minutes remaining. Technology. She's not my friend, but you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go build my bookshelf because that I don't need my computer for. Let me show you what I got at Sephora first. I'm trying to become slightly more of a makeup girly. Not all the time, just for when I need a boost of confidence because I definitely need that sometimes. This is the Light 2 Glossier Stretch Balm Concealer. Kate put me on this. Any, any makeup products you're ever gonna see from me are probably from Kate because she did my makeup twice and I loved everything she did. This, however, now that I just said that, is not a recommendation from Kate. Uh, she was using like a brow gel on me. For the Alpha Elite 90s party, I actually thinned them out. Like I straight up plucked my eyebrows off <laughs> so I could have thin brows for the party. So now my eyebrows are kind of thin and I don't know, they just kind of look a bit patchy. So I saw this Refi Brow Tint and I got the soft brown color. I've never used a brow tint before. I don't really use brow products at all. This kind of caught my eye. I have to order a couple of things online because they didn't have them in store. And then get this, uh, at Indigo, 
I didn't buy anything. Okay, did you hear me? That's the first time in a very, very long time that I've gone to Indigo and not bought anything. But that's because I have so many books to read already. I'm reading Powerless with my little book club which I think I've mentioned on here before. On my Kindle, I'm reading the third book in Zodiac Academy. And honestly, it's eating. Zodiac Academy, I can't stop thinking about it. I love the characters, the drama. Oh, look at this. These are all the books I need to read. There's so many of these I really want to read. I want them to be in my brain. Two Shows of Crowns, I wish this was in my brain already. Golden Sun, wish it was in my brain. Serpent of the Wings of Night and Ashes of the Crowns of Nyaxia situation. Wish this was in my brain already. There was a lot of books I could have bought, but I said, remember your TBR. Let's put up a bookshelf over there. Hi vlog. <laughs> Good morning. It's been probably about a week, maybe even more since I picked up my camera for this video. I just got so busy. There's just been a lot going on. So where we left off, I was building, starting to build my bookshelf, which look at her. So I did finish building it this weekend and it's anchored to the wall. It's sturdy. It's ready to go. I obviously didn't want to put my books on yet because I need to do that with you guys. So we're going to start this video with that. I'm so excited. It is a dark, rainy, 100% precipitation day. So this is super cozy. I have my coffee. We're gonna decorate it. I'm so excited. This is like my favorite part. I can't wait. Even come closer. Come take a look. Come take a look at her. So I put it slightly off center because I imagine at one point I'll buy another one of these and put it here. It's gonna be so fun. I also have a haul. I bought some more Sephora stuff, some Amazon stuff, and Bagu, which is like a bag company. We're gonna hang out. Oh, I'm getting tattooed. I'm getting tattoos later. So I'll bring you guys along. There's three tattoos that I'm getting today. <sighs> oh, this is gonna be a good day. So here's what my office is looking like overall right now. We come in and, oh God, my TBR is getting out of hand. It's too much. I like having some books over here, but I think I have too many. And then on my floor, these are all the books that I had up against the wall. I wanna annotate Dune. That's why I have this. These are my first annotations in a book ever. I'll give you a hint of one of my tattoos. Here's your hint. Um, if you watched the movie Dune and you liked it, you absolutely need to read the book because you get so much more detail and I promise you everything in the movies will make so much more sense if you read the books. I have no game plan. I have no thoughts in my brain. I'm just gonna start putting things on and see what happens. I think this is where I'm gonna leave it for now. Let me give you a tour. It will continue to look better. I kind of like a chaotic, stacked, books everywhere look, and this is very neat right now. I'm not sold on these, but it looks weird without it. My little prize possession dunes at the top. Then I have the entire Throne of Glass collection, of course. This book is so gigantic that I cannot put it with these. So that's as good as it's gonna get. It bothers me that this one's so small, but I don't know where else to put this. And now there's like a weird space. This is just stage one, okay? 
Then we have my fourth wing copies. Down here, this is my TBR. I have two TBRs. This is like my further away from me reading it TBR. <laughs> this is my more immediate, I'm gonna be reading these soon stack. That's kind of how I'm thinking about it because I do like having books over here. Next shelf down. I have my Jennifer Armentrout collection. The Never After series here. I do have one up there because it's on my TBR twisted right there. Love. If you love spicy kind of dark books, uh, yes. I love this. This is the perfect size. It's so freaking cute. This is so random, this shelf. So I lent out the rest of my Akatar books, which is why I don't have them. Then I have my two self-help books. <laughs> I haven't even read either of these, to be honest. Then I have One Dark Window, which I've read, really liked it. I find myself still thinking about this book and still thinking about Raven Yu. So I might need to up my rating on this because the, I think about this book a lot. And then Red Rising, which I loved five stars. E Zodiac Academy. Then down here, these are all my like older books. And then also my manacled. My friend made these and sent them to me. My entire <laughs> marked series. This was my entire childhood. This series raised me. Before that, actually, this series raised me. A series of unfortunate events. That initially raised me, and then I switched to these ones, and then I switched to all these. It makes so much sense. All girlies who read fantasy books, I swear you must have read one of these two series or both. And then I have this. I don't think I've showed you guys this yet. My parents got me this for Christmas. It's almost like a little stamp. So you can take this and you press it onto a page of a book, or they got me these little gold stickers and you can press it on. And it says, property of Gabby Cheyenne's library on it it's so cute do we like it i kind of love it and i kind of want another one uh, this filled up way quicker than i thought it was going to but i think it'll look really nice when i have another shelf as well and it's just like a square of shelves my office was so empty over there before and then i also need to hang up my sword <laughs> and i think i'm gonna put it like here on the wall okay we're gonna do a haul now i just yeah Period. So let's start with Amazon. This is the cutest speaker I have ever seen. Look at this little Bose. I love the purple and the orange. I will link this, but I needed a little portable speaker. Here's the other things we need to open. The next thing I ordered is this cute little pouch. When I went to the Caymans, I was realizing that I needed a little pouch to put in my beach bag. So I just ordered this just to put like lip chap, lipstick, a couple of my like little sunscreens. Cause I found I was digging a lot in my bag to find things. These shoes <laughs> have been staring at me in my saved folder for a while. <coughs> Holy shit. That smells like poison. <laughs> These are bitchy. The brown is a little bit of a reddish brown, which I don't love, but I think it could still work. Oh, those are so bitchy. Can you see? <laughs> Here we go. Excuse me, thank you. Optic Intensity Eyeliner. It's Lady Gaga's brand. It's the Amethyst, Amethyst. Why did I say it like that? Amethyst matte color. This is for a night swim shoot. That's all I'm gonna say. Marajuka Juicy Lip Plump by Tarte. This is the color Honeysuckle. I don't really know anything about this. Maddie recommended this to me. How do you even open this? Oh my God, this color is so good. Oh my God, I love this. I don't like reds or pinks on me. They don't, they don't work. And I'm finding that browns do work and I found this out through a product that's gonna be in there that Kate put me on. This also smells so good. Is this like a trending product? This is my new favorite thing ever, thanks to Miss Kate Craig. In the Caymans, she put this on me, Jelly Charm by Kaja. First of all, it's adorable. It's adorable to look at. This is the color Mocha Glaze. It has no business being this effing cute. It's like a lip and cheek stain, basically, but it comes with a little charm that just makes it so fun. I wish I bought two of these. Why do all products not come with little charms? This little heart with like, no, you're joking. Like I'd be sold just on that, but the product is amazing too. The pictures that I took in the Caymans when I was in that white outfit and for the wedding, I was wearing this. 
on my cheeks and my lips. I am so obsessed with this. You can get it on Amazon too, but it's a little bit more expensive. Laguna Bronzing Powder by NARS. This is Laguna One shade. Oh my God, I love the texture of this. Oh my God, the texture of this. Okay, you guys are like, wow, revolutionary bronzing powder? No kidding. <laughs> Again. Thanks to Kate. She said, this is the best eyelash curler. And I said, okay, I'll buy it. If you also want curly eyelashes, you should get one. Do it right now. I'm really bad at it. I need to work on this. I was always unsure if this actually worked, but it totally does. I just don't know if it stays. Does this stay? Like, what is the science behind this? Or do you have to put mascara for it to stay? Slash, does it not even stay? I need some peer reviewed articles on this. Oh my god, I love being a girl. It's so fun. Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter by Rare Beauty. I don't know what compelled me to get this one, but... Oh, wow, so cute. Okay, Selena. Mm. No, I'm, I'm obsessed with nose highlight now. Why is it the cutest thing ever when your nose is highlighted? 24 hour invisible shaping and setting gel for brows. Another Kate recommendation. I know nothing about eyebrows, okay? What the hell is this for? What is the point? Why do we need to set our eyebrows? Now this is a recommendation from Maddie. Grip set and refresh spray. It doubles as a face mist. So it's like a hydrating setting spray that's also a face mist. Oh, pretty. I needed a new retinol. So I got the pharmacy one. This is 1% vitamin A retinol serum, firms and fights wrinkles. I have not heard anybody talk about this. Not even once at all. I needed a new basic moisturizer. Rachel talks about this one all the time and I would trust her with skincare over anyone. This is the Ultra Repair Cream, my first aid. This is gonna last me a while. This was a recommendation from my hairdresser. Literally have ringlet curly hair that I force into being wavy by not doing anything to help my curls. Plus when my hair is long, it's very heavy and it weigh gets weighed down. But when I was away in the Caymans, I would come out of the salt water and my hair would air dry. It gets extra ringlety. And my hairdresser was like, WTF are you doing? You need to use some curly hair girl products. And I was like, but I don't use heat on my hair. So that's always been my thing is I'm not gonna diffuse my hair and I'm not, all these products are typically heat activated, at least that I see. So my hairdresser, long story short, really that was a short story turned long. My hairdresser re re recommended this Amica, Amica, don't come for me, Curl Corpse. Corpse? Like not corpse with an E, corpse without an E. Defining cream. Get curls into formation with a smoothing control cream that softly coaxes curls to keep them from frizzing, splitting, or sagging. These final three things I purchased for a night swim photo shoot or with a night swim photo shoot in mind. Urban Decay Moon Dust Sparkly Eyeshadow. It's just a little shimmery, kind of purpley green. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. Can you tell that it like kind of changes color with a shimmer? Dream Dust Multi Reflective Eye Glitter by Valentino. It's just this little pot of glitter, basically. Hi, how do I open this? Moroccan Oil Shimmering Body Oil. I want to lather this all over my body. Putting this on my chest is gonna be so glorious. I don't think you can really, really tell. I feel like I'd have to like cover myself in it. It's definitely shimmery, at least on my hands. I probably have too much hair on my arms for you to be able to tell. Why do I feel like purple eyeshadow is gonna be so cute? Why do I wanna put it on? Why do I wanna put it on? I wanna try. Okay, you can't really tell it's purple. Finally, we have Begu. What started this all? Is that gonna fit? I got this little puffy laptop sleeve because I got a new laptop and I needed a new laptop sleeve. This will fit, right? And for some reason, I've been just drawn to brighter colors. I'm not like in a neutral moment right now. I don't know. So I got this cloud little sleeve and it's just a little puffy. Is this gonna fit this? Yeah, I guess so. I got my boyfriend and I each a little body bag because we're gonna be going to Europe. We needed, just for when we're walking around all day, a little bag that we can strap to our bodies. I like having a big bag because I like having a lot of stuff with me at all times. So it's just a little shoulder bag. 
You can fit a lot in here. It's a, what is this texture? I don't know what these things are called. Oh, it's so cute with the little embroidered flowers. It has an over the shoulder strap and it has these two little straps and a zipper. Canvas, canvas, that's what this is, a canvas bag. The final thing I got is this Begu Puffy glasses sleeve. I wanted this color for my laptop, but they didn't have it for 16 inch. And all my glasses cases are ginormous and bulky. So I wanted just a small little sunglass case. I thought this one would be perfect. And I love this uh, texture, it feels so nice in my brain. And this is a magnet actually. I thought it was gonna be Velcro, but it's a magnet. <laughs> ah, okay, I'm so happy with everything. Now I need to stop spending money. Thank you. Don't mind the sweatpants. <laughs> Here is the little shoes. I love a pointed toe. From the front, absolutely love. I feel like they make my feet look really long. Just pulled up to my tattoo appointment. I'm seeing Jack. She did my fairy. So she did my most recent tattoo. I found her through Cam. Cam's the one who's done a bunch of my tattoos, all my ankle tattoos. Jack was his apprentice. And now I go to both of them. I just kind of like switch between. Yeah. yet. We only have our like photo shoot sets. Bring her in here. back okay time for the reveal here's the foot one to start it's like a little galaxy almost but i got this fun little wavy and then some little sparklies firstly night swim at ah, giselle one of my absolute faves back of my arm i got sahaya look at the s it's so cute this little I think I showed you in my Dune book already, but Sahaya is from Dune. I didn't get it for the movie. I got it for the book because it's one of my dad's favorite series. Because it's one of his favorite series and also one of my favorite series now, I feel a connection, like a deeper connection to it because of the connection with my dad. Sahaya is Shani's Fremen name. It's a made up word and I combined two fonts. So, so I found the S on its own and then I combined it with a different font because I liked this S so much. I just wanted something very calligraphy, scripty. On the other side, on my back, says how deep is the ocean how high is the sky if you've been watching my youtube videos recently or in general always slash if you follow me on instagram you've probably seen me post that song before how deep is the ocean by ella fitzgerald it is my absolute favorite love song i need to like listen to it really quick how deep is the ocean how high is the sky kind of a back sticker sleeve vibe. I don't know why, I've just never really been a person to get like arm tattoos. Like I know I got one on the back of my arm, but not really anywhere here. I don't know if it's because I have like super hairy forearms and that's an insecurity of mine. So I don't want to like draw more attention to my arms. <laughs> I just kind of like that when you look at me- Could you try again? No, I won't try again. I just kind of like that like when you look at me straight on, you're like, oh, okay. But if you look at me from behind, or like the side and you're like, oh, she's cool. She has tattoos. <laughs> that makes no sense. Yeah, and my whole ankle and foot on both legs is basically all tattooed now. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with foot and ankle tattoos. Tattoos on your feet and your ankles when you're wearing heels? Why is that the hottest thing ever? I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I'm definitely not gonna go to the gym today. As Jack was saying, your body just went through trauma because you were just getting injured by that tattoo needle for two hours. So rest. And I said, say less. I was planning on resting anyway, but I'm definitely not gonna go to the gym. I think that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of random vlog that lasted two weeks. It is what it is. Bye guys.